This is the Sith Holonet broadcast. The Empire's power heightens. The sphere of military strategy has announced the completion of the mega shipyard on Dromund Kos. This will allow for the increased production of naval assets to protect and enforce the Empire's interest, which we will address shortly. Scientist Avlon of the Ministry of Technology has stated his approval for the shipyards in an interview. Personally, I agree with the choice of the mega shipyard. It's much more useful long-term for force projection, pun intended. Shipyards are also notoriously difficult to capture. The Ministry of Technology has also developed a new ship type, a cruiser. The Dark Council has commissioned a few of these vessels for the first fleet and will enter mass production at the shipyards on Drum and Cass and Zeist. The Sphere of Military Offense has commissioned the production of the second Imperial fleet. The Dark Council member for military strategy had this to say. The creation of a new fleet will allow more options for Imperial strategy and the defense of the Empire as well as a multitude of different methods for conduction of campaigns outside Sith space. The new fleet will also create countless jobs and will be created in a short space of time due to the mega shipyard of Drome and Kos. The second fleet will be commanded by Admiral Marcus Kandrex, who has the full confidence of the Ministry. Citizens our empire needs your opinions on important matters within the empire, speak your minds in the comments below and have a chance to be featured on the Holonet. Join the empire today. Or else. Hello everyone, my name is Colonel X and welcome back to Stellaris Legacy of the Old Republic, our Sith Empire playthrough. Now last time we managed to uh, build up some more frigates and start work on the second fleet, as well as expanding some into some more territories. And let's get started, shall we? Let's continue, shall we? Right, let's set it on fast speed. Got some production finishing, building finishing on our... Four worlds. We're running low on medical supplies now. We should be building a, uh, or we should have built a medical center. Probe droid deployed. Or something like that. Tech upgrade complete. We'll have a look in a bit later. Let's research this technology first. Off-world trading companies. Tech upgrade complete. And another tech upgrade. And another one. Let's get early criminal prosecution. New options available. Um, sensors, e sensor echoes have indicated the presence of some kind of unidentified object deep in the, within the atmosphere of this gas giant. Let's research tech that. Complete. Another tech upgrade. Get mass driver cannons tech and start. Uh, iron cannons and interstellar economics. Right, now let the shattered remains of a cruiser sized starship can be detected in the decaying orbit deep inside the atmosphere of Lukasek 3. It appears to have ventured far into the gas giant's atmosphere, perhaps in a desperate attempt to escape a pursuer, only to be crushed by the atmospheric pressure. The vessel is too deep to be salvaged. But a structural scan of wreckage of the wreckage has provided us with some interesting engineering engineering data. All right, let's um, send these civil our construction ships to build some more star bases. Uh, you've built a hyper a hyperspace beacon. What do these do? Though useless on the own, a chain of hyperspace beacons allows faster travel, transit times. Between adjacent systems. I see. We go to Drummond and build a hyperspace beacon there then. Let's do that. Construction, build those mining stations, and build a star base on Yavin, in the Yavin system. Survey. Survey these systems down here. There we go. 
play this down here. There we go. Right, now let's upgrade these fleets. Upgrade complete. Excellent. Upgrade complete. Let's get a new tradition. Um, research alternatives or Sith or Max Rivalry. Let's get Sith Alchemy so we can get that extra research alternative. Okay. Tech upgrade complete. New technology. Uh, let's get mining station. Tech upgrade output. complete. And very dangerous animal removal. Tech upgrade complete. Uh, le and let's share complete. personal energy shield. Construction ship will build those mining stations on the Arda down there as well. Okay, so we've got our leader has been promoted to level 4. And we're full of minerals. Let's sell some of these then. Tech upgrade of them at the moment. Let's get some more money. Let's get early fuel processing. Mine ship. Re uh, so research the projects in the system and survey. And federations end. Let's see if we can build fuel some more ship. Tech yeah, let's do that. Complete. We've also got cruisers as well, which I've just remembered. Asteroid collision. Oh, it was a slipper. Okay, let's society research. Let's get adaptive bureaucracy. Construction complete. Construction complete. Ah, our construction ships have completed their building. Tech upgrade um, complete. Build. Let's build some more of these, and then let's get another colony ship. Yavin Prime. Tech upgrade complete. Pardon me. Countering Gala, we have made first contact with the mysterious aliens in the Gala system. For now, we have codenamed them the Yurt Menace until we can find more out more about them. They possess a language. We should decipher it so we can assess how much of a threat they pose. Right, let's pause this. Let's get concussion missiles and galactic ambitions. And let's assign an ambassador. Um, there we go. Assign an ambassador to investigate the Yurt Menace. Continue. New options available. Exotic discovery. Scanners have picked up life signs on Pinura 5B. A truly exotic planet covered with rare minerals and crystals. We should take a closer look at this world. Please do. Tech upgrade um, complete. Or, Research busy? complete. Good. Have you built a um, hyperspace beacon on this world then? Yeah, looks like it. There we go. Move our construction ship. Have you built one in... Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. There we go. While exploring this extraordinary planet, our scientists have come across a majestic species of fox that is a fur made of crystals. We have named this newly discovered species the Voltex. Fear Tau suggests we should exhibit and breed these phenomenal animals to the general public in our empire. The team spends the rest of the day Herding as many bulk texts on the landing shuttle as possible to be able to bring them to a zoo in the future. Excellent. Okay, so then let's build a hyperspace beacon. During its survey of Federation Send, Ovi Oval has disco discovered a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed Dark Matter. This exotic substance has many properties that seemingly defy several natural laws and could potentially revolutionise the sciences. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Excellent. Tech upgrade Let's get complete. another uh, colony ship onto the world of Stenos. Probe droid deployed. Excellent. Engineering, let's research star fortresses. 
And advanced barrier shield. Let's have a look. An advanced patch of shield generator derived from the study of ancient shield world. Oh. Then let's get hyper entertainment forms and a new tradition. Fifth warriors, through strength I gain power. Through power I gain victory, and through victory my chains are broken. Weakness, defender of the Training. Um. Hmm. Let get the defender. Hmm. Well, we'll leave it uh, vacant for now. I'll survey some more system. I did think an event would uh, uh, happen, the event, a uh, hidden event happens, but never mind, never mind, it might happen in the future, but we'll never know. Uh, sorry, so construction ships, let's put a star base on Federation to end, so we can get those habitable planets and the dark matter in due course. Following the sighting of unidentified spacecraft in the Gala system, all forces in the vicinity have been ordered to assume a heightened state of readiness as per standard protocol. In Imperial intelligence is still analysing what little data we have on the bogey, but it appears capable of hyperspace travel. Offensive capabilities remain unknown, as this likely represents our first contact with a new alien civilization. We should take steps to decipher their communications. Keep at it. Good. Let's upgrade these our fleets again. There. Let's build these mining and research stations. So you're building hyperspace beacon. Continue. New options available. So, Tech upgrade complete. Right, and we'll get another new research. Uh, we'll get a uh, research institute. Upgrade complete. Fleet has been upgraded. Excellent. Got a star fortress. Let's get heavy upgrade cruisers. Complete. A new ship type. Tech upgrade complete. Excellent. Good upgrade, but we need people. More people. Let's see. Count. We are receiving a transmission from the independent planet of the Council of Malastare. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Well, we welcome you, Sith Empyrean. Probe droid deployed. Uh, Sith Empyrean. Hmm. Oh. Where are they then? I don't see them anywhere. They must be somewhere, but we won't worry about that now. Let's continue. Let's get some more jobs on Chiguada. With the stabilization of our position around Dravencast and rebuilding our fleets and armies, our Admiralty thinks it's now the time to build a flagship that will strike fear into our enemies. The first plans are to, ve to develop a battleship with superior turbo lasers and iron cannons as armament. This mighty ship is supposed to monitor and coordinate our fleet remotely. Let's start the project. Complete. Let's build a mining district. And as simple as power. That will finish in 23 months. Let's do that. Continue. Move to that system and let's get all the nice Oh, I see their, um, their space station. B. Maybe we, we'll, we'll colonize them. Mission Zen Prime. Mission Secundus. 
There we go. We got a colony. Oh yeah, already has a planned colony. Excellent, excellent. How do we get more manpower then? Building military academies. Orbital training centers. By cloning technologies, a small amount from capital ship. Well, let's get build. Let's build the more um, medical supply factory. That's what we need. Um, build. We've got a planetary shield. Grid. Hmm. Planetary shield generator. And let's get. Have we got a uh, recruitment? Doesn't look like it. Um. The next. Uh, mineral purification, precinct houses, research. Uh, let's build the Sith Shrine as well. Uh, mining district. Okay. So, first or So we've got, we may need another medical supply factory. Well, let's build another planetary shield generator and heavy alloy forge. On Relg, we shall get medical supply factory and a heavy heavy alloy forge. There we go. Let's upgrade these buildings on Kreis and Zios and start building some more stuff. Build on Corpus. So, uh, so, oh, I see. So they, oh, they highlight them. Oh, I see. Well, that's good. That's cool. So if you go there, that will speed up the um, arrival date. New options available. Now that's very cool. Right, now you go to uh, Barrison, build those mining stations, and then that IP is basically available. Oh no. Um, let's research that. Uh, while some were worried at the incursion of unknown alien vessels into our space, it was not clear until now just how much of a threat the Yurt Menace proposed. It seems they sent a covert force to intercept one of our cargo vessels in the Yada system. Seizing the ship and escaping into the depths of space before we could mount a rescue party. We can only imagine what tortures the crew will suffer at the hands of their captors. Right. So the Yurt Menace has kidnapped some of our people. Construction That's complete. not good at all. And they will face Tech severe punishment. Welcome Emperor Darth Fisher. I am contacting you on behalf of Sith Empire Research and Development Division. We have made significant progresses progress towards building heavy cruiser class vessels for our people. Right, so let's get the Reaper class heavy cruiser. Uh, let's get the I'm just no, that's right. Okay. So let's research uh, something different. Let's get deep core mining and let's go to our ship designer and have a look at the new heavy cruiser. They're the normal cruisers. Let's get rid of this auto one. Combat and patrol. And combat. Let's get rid of that. Terminus and Fury. Excellent. Artillery. Or we could have a carrier. Artillery heavy cruiser or a carrier heavy cruiser. Let's save that. Let's get the artillery. Let's get an artillery heavy cruiser. And another one. And let's get 
a hangar Deep cruiser. Yep, an auto upgrade. That is line roll. I want artillery roll. There we go. Heavy cruiser and reaper. Let's just rename to to uh beautiful. There we go. Better. Um, alright, so that's done. So can, let's see if we can add any of these heavy cruisers to our existing fleet. So let's get a couple of a Reaper class. There we go. They all need to be... Oh, that's a lot of alloys. And a lot of people. Can't exactly buy people, can we? No. Um... But for now, hmm. so can we build some uh, some fleet academies or something? Military academies. Let's have a look. Let's get crew training center. Let's go. Right, um, construction ship, go to that, and then repair the automated shipyard. Blah, blah, blah. Um, our, oh dear. Our attempts to learn more about the Yurt Menace have so far been in vain, but we are able to ascertain that they clearly come from a part, a part of a technologically advanced alien civilization. Further facts have proven elusive as they seem to be going to considerable effort to prevent us and any other EVE droppers from intercepting any signals from them. We have therefore only managed to intercept small fragments of their language so far. However, from the glimpses we have gleaned, learned, our linguists are, com are confident that they will be able to decipher their communications if we can just acquire a greater sample size. A proposal has been drawn up for somewhat more aggressive information gathering. They may call it hacking, but they surely won't take kindly to it if they were to Let's, we must find out their secrets. Okay, so what was that actually? Because we need to do a new research. Let's get a planetary defense grid. Okay, force sensitive. Survey this system. Yeah, any leaders we can get worth getting. There's a force sensitive one there. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Right. Alright, construction ship. Let's build a star base. And in this. Oh, wait. What? Oh, we can upgrade it, but we need more people. Right, right, right. Oh, wait. Okay. And on that note, I think we'll end this episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to comment how you think this new editing style what this new editing style is like, and if you want to keep it, or return to the normal one. Have a nice day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!